spray is Kyler. Hey, Trey. 18 threes for Penn State tonight. It looked like a lot of guys were overhelping uh, on the perimeter. Was that part of the plan, or was there too much overhelping on the drivers? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're making shots, and we our game plan was we knew they they, they were going to shoot it. And so, like you said, just overhelping too much um, and giving up wide-open shots and just kind of it's more dare shots than – than usual. I mean, we gotta we gotta get up and contain the three point shot, and can't dare them to shoot it, and they're gonna make it. And that's what they did tonight. So, Mason, Trey, you kind of mentioned it there, but when you guys are going about trying to keep up with an offense that just seemingly won't miss from the other side, how much pressure does that guy does that put on you guys to kind of try and find an answer and maybe string together some buckets here? Well, I mean, momentum comes from stops, and we couldn't seem to find. Enough stops tonight, um, and we we kind of were out of sorts on offense with because they just kept scoring and scoring. And I think the momentum comes from stops and being able to get stops and run and transition. So I think it all starts with our defense. We we got to get better, and we know we got to get better. Um, if we want to win games in the Big Ten, we can't keep giving up eighty points because we're not going to win games. So we gotta we gotta go back to practice and focus in and on the little things that we're trying to. That the coaches are trying to teach, and we gotta we gotta lock in and do the right things. So, Mike, sure, you guys had a really rough February last year, and were able to to dig your way out of it and have a decent finish to the season. How much can you draw from that, and what do you think the keys are to kind of digging your way out of this funk? I mean, we got guys that have been here before, um, that have gone through it, so we just need the older guys, including myself, to step up and lead. Um, the other guys, because we're, I mean, we're shorthanded right now, so can't make any excuses with that. So we gotta, we gotta find ways to bring the other guys with us um, and lead by example. I, I think we're, we're not doing as good as we can, and I think we need to step that up. But I think just sticking together um, and coming together as a unit um, and blocking out all the outside noise and just focusing on each other, um, just winning games. So, Seth. When you talk about leadership, I mean, where do you feel like this team's effort is at right now? And what can you all do to make sure that stays where it needs to be, even if something isn't going your way? Um, I mean, well, we can definitely play harder. Um, and coaches are coaches are preaching it. Um, and I, I think that's our our main – that's why our identity is playing hard. And I think we're not doing that right now. Um, and it's all of us. Um, and we can all give a little more. And so I think just really focusing on practice every day, coming to practice to work. Um, and stay ready. And I think just each each game going out and playing like it's the last game, like that's what we got to do because each game is going to be challenging in the Big Ten. So I, we can't we can't just go into these games um, not ready for a war because they're all wars. So that's what we got to do. Niffin. Hey, Trey, during halftime or during timeouts tonight, were there specific teammates of yours that you thought really spoke up or tried to spark the team back into the game? Yeah, um, I mean, we 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 were in timeouts. We all got to keep talking to each other because we're a unit. So all five guys got to be talking about huddle and listening to each other, um, encouraging each other because that, that's that's where you get that's where you get your spark from. Just coming to timeouts, coming to halftime, just talking to each other and feeling each other out. I mean, because if you're not talking, that means you're not going to talk on the court either. So I think just in timeouts, just making sure that we stick together um, and listen to our coaches, but also have player talk as well. Last question quickly, Jeff. Yeah, I mean, Trey, all the technical stuff aside, you know, Indiana was ranked number 10 in the country November, I think it was 28th. Um, now you're one and four in the Big Ten, just suffered the program's worst loss ever to Penn State. Just big picture, what's happened? Um, I just think that we we got to play harder, um, and that's at the end of the day we're we're not playing hard enough in um, our defense and, and just getting stops. I think that the biggest thing is just focusing on our game plan and following it and doing the right things every day in practice and leading up to games. So I think just going back to practice and really finding our identity on our defensive end because. Um, the teams that are going to win the Big Ten play defense. And so I think with us just going back and playing defense, I mean, obviously, one of four is not a good start in the Big Ten, but it was a long season. It was, we got 15 more games in the Big Ten, so I, we got a lot of more uh, games to play. And I think if we commit to it, we, we can we can get out of this hole and get right back into it. So, 
All right, Trey, thank you. Have a safe trip home, buddy.